Hi, I'm Mark Chaffordini with Go See Talk, and I'm here at the Dallas International Film Festival to speak to J.Q. and Kong. Yes. Oh, correct. Okay. <laughs> correct. Um, just saw my way. It was a fantastic movie. Uh, please tell us, is it well known in Korea? And if so, what was what was important to tell this story? The story itself came out in Korea about six years ago, almost as a news item of, you know, never before heard. And at that time, it got a lot of coverage. Actually, there was a, a novel that was a novelization of the story. There was a documentary. And so at that time, it was something that, um, just because it was so unbelievable. It, for my own purposes, about four years ago, um, I received a script that covered this film. And actually, I thought it was just interesting. But then I had a chance to see the documentary. And just, I could feel, he used the expression, my blood started to get hot. Like, that I could feel that this was a real story, and yet it's so unbelievable. And thinking about my father's generation, or people who's gone through the, uh, the Second World War, um, and just their absolute struggle for survival, and this journey that was overtaken, it, the, the film came to me, and it was really a story that I wanted to tell on film. Excellent. I, I can agree with that. My, my blood, my body started to really feel emotional, too. Um, it's such a, a large story and, like you said, unbelievable. Um, logistically, I mean, how do you approach something this big? Um, I mean, just even approaching the film, it was something that... Actually, there was a lot of fear. I mean, there was. I had this sense of duty to history and the story that I wanted to tell. But then after the actual decision about making the film was made, then reality started setting in, <laughs> and questions about how am I going to get this on screen, and you know how do you even budget something like this? Um, and so there are a lot of questions actually at the very beginning. Well, there's so much going on, but it's controlled very well and skillfully. It's very fluid, and um, a, a lot of what's going on. I mean, there's always something moving. Yet, as big or epic as the story is. The characters in the story stand so much taller. Um, how did you find a balance between the characters? Just due to the historical background of the film, I mean, obviously Japan was the aggressor country and uh, Korea was the victim of it. And um, in the beginning, the roles are Tetsuo is the aggressor and Junshik is um, in many ways a victim. But, you know, further than that, in the nature of the movie, I wanted to think about the nature of humankind. And, you know, when circumstances change, I mean, who's the real victim or who's the aggressor, who's the victim, and can that change? And so Chongde is that character. Character, where he starts off as a victim, but when his own circumstances change, you see him easily taking on the role, be just becoming the aggressor as well. A, a lot of what the characters had to go through was um, kind of what you said, changes and you know, flipping roles. Um, ultimately, the movie is about sacrifice, and um, do you think that it came across um, the way you wanted to tell it? Respectfully. Going back to the reason that I wanted to make the film, I mean, the story about Korea and Japan, even uh, historically or even now, are there these are two countries that are geographically extremely close, and yet maybe our hearts are still closed off to each other because of our sense of history. Um, and I really wanted to explore: can we, how can we find a new future and make a new future? And I thought that the way through that was through a film like this of a process of understanding and maybe a reconciliation um, through each other. And this is not just the case with Korea and Japan. I mean, this is for you know a lot of other global conflicts that are happening come from a lack of understanding and and maybe this process of a reconciliation you know maybe the US and the Middle East or you know other places as well I thought that this was a meaningful action to take and that's why I wanted to take the film uh, to do the film and as it turned out I'm somewhat satisfied not completely but somewhat satisfied that this message was uh, relayed enough but you know in terms of um, Every, like food, every film has its right time, and there's, you know, when people are ready to eat. And I will say that maybe a small regret is that I'm not sure that people in Japan and Korea were quite yet ready to digest this film as um, it was meant to be. Um, this is quite a way from Shiri. Um, what do you think that you've learned coming from that movie to this movie? 
그러니까 어떻게 보면 어, In the films that I've made so far, I've, I've been lucky enough to um, um, bring to life exactly as it was planned from the beginning, and I understood exactly how the audience would react to it, and maybe the whole thing was foreseen. Um, I will say that my way was my first instance of having an unexpected reaction for this film, for good and for bad. And so I've thought, you know, I think it's been a, a, a learning opportunity to think about, you know, the nature of film, the nature of storytelling, and maybe how it relates to box office or not. Um, you know, what I was saying about, um, you know, Korean audiences may not have been ready for this film. <laughs> As a foreigner, I think that the, the movie has universal messages. It's very well done. I wish you the best, and uh, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Thank you.